Welcome back to Foo Studio, the fantastic place where you can build anything. I'm Sophie, and today I'm going to show you how to make a dog training game. You'll need to finish Chapter Five of the Foos with the chef before starting. We'll be using the loop, the bump event, and the shout command. Oh, and the listen event. There's going to be a lot going on, but don't worry, it won't be hard to make. I promise. We're going to make an obstacle course for a dog, and have Ninja Foo tell the dog how to get through it. The first thing is to block Ninja Foo in so she can't move. Ninja Foo won't be allowed to move the dog physically in this level. She'll only be able to talk to it. Next, we'll make some steps that the dog has to jump over, like this. When you click on an item, you can change its size, copy it, rotate it, move it, or delete it. I'm shrinking this block or making it bigger, and then copying it to make steps. We'll add the star here at the end, and we'll make it so big so it's easier for the dog to touch it. Now to add our dog. <laughs> I like this one. Okay, so there's two things we need to do. The first is to make the dog always walk to the right, since that's the only direction he can go towards the star. The second is to make the dog jump when Ninja Foo tells it to. Let's start with the first part, making the dog always walk to the right. That's the easy part. So click on the dog, and since we want the dog to always do something, we should use a loop with an infinity symbol. That's the little sideways figure eight. We'll put it on the play event, so the dog will start walking right away when we press play. To do that, we'll add the walk command inside the loop here. When I press play, you can see that the dog walks to the right on its own. Good boy. But then it hits a step and it can't go anywhere. So let's change that up a bit. Next, I'm going to add code so Ninja Foo can tell her dog to jump over the steps. This is how we're going to get the dog through the obstacle course. Let's start by adding a question block. We could use any block. But I like the question block here because anyone who plays the game will try to touch it. Usually, when any food touches a question block, it hides, which is great for other games. But we're going to reprogram it to make the dog jump instead. How do we do that? We go to the bump of it. This means when the player bumps it, and instead of hiding it, we're going to make the question block shout. We can choose any of these parameters. It doesn't matter which one we choose, as long as we choose the same one on the dog. This is very important. Let's choose the exclamation point here. I think that's best. Okay, so when the dog hears a shout, it should do something, right? We'll add code to the listen event, which is this one right here. We can change this parameter to match the shout command with the exclamation point. Now, when the dog hears a shout, it should jump to the right. Let's try it and see how it works. When Ninja Foo hits the question block, the block will shout, and the dog will jump. Oh, but look at that! The dog didn't collect the star at the end. Well, we'll just have to change that too. Click on the star and go to its bump event. The star has the code when the Foo touches the star win the game. But we want it to be when the dog touches the star, win the game. So we'll switch this over to the pet icon. This parameter here is how you get things other than the player foo to interact with items in the game. All right, now we can win the game when the dog touches the star. Let's make one more change to make it just a little more fun. Let's add some gems. We'll add the gems in a half circle, just like this. They're sort of on the same path that the dog takes when it jumps, so they should be right in his path when he starts climbing the stairs. Of course, we want the dog to collect the gems. Click a gem, and go to its bump event. It currently has if a player touches a gem, collect it. But we're going to change it to when a pet touches the gem, collect it, just like we did with the star. And because you put that code on one gem, now it's on all the gems. Isn't that neat? Now when the pet jumps, it can collect the gems. And just like that, he made it through the obstacle course. Good dog. That's how you make a dog training game in Foo Studio. 
If you want to play or remix this level, you can use this code here in Foo Studio. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, please like and subscribe. See ya in Foo Studio!